Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your brother's here in Deen Love, bringing you that content that gets us all closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a better understanding of our Deen and the best way of life. So today, we're back with a few more, hopefully, inshallah ta'ala, some reflections here and there. But we got uh, a very deep topic right here on our hands today, which is the ruling on liking slash sharing photos or videos, right? Photos or videos that contain haram. What is the ruling on sharing and liking content that has haram in it? Whether it's, you know what I mean, dress or in doing or whatever else it might be in. What is the ruling to that? We got the D-Love brother here. <laughs> And then, what are your thoughts on that, man? A lot of people sharing a lot of things, and many of these things contain haram. Um, Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This, all of this, I think, could be put under the banner of sinning in public versus uh, sinning in, um, in, in, in private. And the reason why I say that is because you know, a lot of the times when we share things and we like things on social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, we act like this Man. is, even though your account is on private, people yeah. think that this is a, a private matter. But once it hits the social media, it's not private, even if your account is private and Allah is watching. And all those people who you befriended on, those 5,000 followers, right, that you have are all watching this. So this this actually becomes a matter of, of of publicity, right? And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you know, for for you to go and just common sense, we shouldn't even be sharing haram things. You wouldn't even do it <laughs> off of the social media, right? So why would it why would it then be okay to do it uh, on on social media, whether your account is private or public? And the other thing is, if we are a part of this uh, uh, haram. Um, um, business that's going on in terms of videos and and posts that are that are impermissible to begin with and pictures that are haram right we all know what haram is we don't have to tell you guys the at least the basic things of what haram and halal are we know this as Muslim right we don't need to we know we don't need to play dumb now right so when we share these things and we get involved in these things right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may not forgive us and that's a very scary thing. Why yeah. do we say this? Because according to the hadith in Sahih Muslim and Sahih, uh, Sahih Bukhari, Allah, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says that Allah will forgive my ummah, right? Except, he says he will forgive everyone in my ummah except those who sin publicly. Ilal mujahireen. Those who sin publicly. And this has to do with uh, a, a sh shamelessness and also, you know, uh, the, the idea that, you know what, everybody's doing it, so I'm going to just do it and Allah will forgive me. And these are the sort of arguments that people put forth and it's very dangerous. Extremely sad. Wallah, extremely sad. Uh, beautiful ayah that's really foundational for many of these things. Especially, I want to talk about somebody who already has done haram, already has done haram, and then they post it. For publicly, the sad thing is you have some people who are willing to go to that haram thing and share it and like it and promote it. Yeah. What does that mean? Look, listen to this beautiful ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this beautiful ayah that is really foundational for a lot of the reflections that we have is, um, Allah says, وَتَعَاوَنُوا Help each other in al-birr in the righteous things, what taqwa and the fear of Allah. Anything that is khayr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding that we help each other in. But then the second part of this ayah, or in this uh, portion of this ayah in Surah Al-Ma'idah is, wala ta'awanu, don't aid each other, don't help each other in sin. Right. Don't promote it. Don't uh, publish it. Don't, obviously, from the foundationally, you're not supposed to do haram to begin with. Forget about publishing it for everybody to see. Right. And then for us to come and like that and promote that and then push that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَلَا تَعَوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ Right? Don't help each other in sin and in transgression. So every time you 
hit a like button every, and, 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 and it's something haram, you, you're promoting it, you're helping that person, and you're going against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advised us not to do. Absolutely. And you know what? This, this may ultimately lead you out of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, after some time, you know, when you keep doing this over and over again, and even some people, they just do it to follow the crowd, you know. They, they themselves may not even want to do it, but they think that, you know, their friends are going to look down upon them or, or they're going to, they may lose some likes or whatever if they don't do something ridiculous and it's not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On social media, we know what it is. We know what's going on. Let's not let's not play, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, act like we're oblivious to this. Oh right? my God. We see what's happening. So oh us God. sharing it, right? We become, uh, 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 you know, people who are now participating, accomplice in the crime, right? And on Yom Al Qiyamah, this will be very ugly, because because, you know, you you will be distancing yourself from the one who used to share that haram. And the one who you and and the one that you used to share it for, right? And you will become enemies on that day. So why do all of that when you can have true friends in this dunya that get you closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? And on Yom Al Akhirah they will also be your friends, and in Jannah you'll be reunited as friends, right? All of this what in helping each other in good taqwa and getting closer to Allah. And staying away from that which is haram and displeasing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what do you do when you actually do see something haram? What do you actually do? Right? Beautiful hadith. Man ra'a minkum munkaran fal yugayyirhu bi yadih. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, in this beautiful, amazing hadith, whoever sees something haram, Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is make a difference and take action. Right? If you can do something about it, فَلْيُغَيِّرِهُ Change it Absolutely. with your hands. Take action, meaning If you don't have the ability to do that, فَبِلِسَانِهِ Then do, say something about it. Try to go to that person, give him a good word. Um, try to encourage them to not do what they did. And obviously, you don't want to put somebody out there in publicly. Right. In a, we'll make maybe a whole separate video on yeah. how to give a siha, you know what yeah. I mean? That's a whole different big chapter there. But uh, in a nice private way, talk to the person as much as you can. And the third person, uh, if you cannot take action or say something, then you hate it with your heart and you move on with life. Absolutely. Right? You got, you got three options right there. Uh, sharing it and publicly and promoting it is not an option. <laughs> if, if, if you want Jannah, if, and if oh, you want the forgiveness of Allah, it's not an option. It's not an option. But if you want the pleasure and the liking of the people yep. and, 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 and mankind and your friends and your followers, then, you know, it's, 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 it's a, for a sad price. Very you sad, Allah. You are giving up your akhirah. And also, I want to say, Jazakallah uh, khair, akhi, for uh, that the hadith, فَإِن لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ بِلِسَانِهِ this is the least amount of iman. And commonly, this hadith here today, we we as a whole, we limit this and this conditions. We think this only has to do with social issues yeah. and social justice <laughs> and, and, and protesting. This is the only time we use it, right? Yeah. When it comes to these sort of things and, and voting in elections, right? But actually, this has to do with all type of haram. Even the haram where your best friend is doing it, and we are okay with it. We are very okay with it, and we don't have a problem with this, right? But then when we see something else that, that pertains to, um, you know, some of the political issues, maybe you may be taking a side on this, then we want to use that hadith and we want to implement it there. No, Habibi, this is something that must be implemented in everything that's haram. If you have a friend that's doing haram, you have to stop him with your hand. And if that does not work, then you have to do it with your tongue. You have to tell them, rebuke them in it. And if this does not work, then hate it in your heart. And this is the least of iman. And Allah does not, he does not expect less from you. He does not expect less from us. This included myself, right? Dave. So, you know, and, and like the brother said, there are mannerisms in approaching this issue when it comes to nasiha and advice. So, you know, uh, and, and that 
it's his it's his own topic of discussion. <laughs> So, you know, Jazakumal Khair and, you know, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Definitely a huge topic. Thought we should uh, share a little bit of that with you. But inshallah ta'ala, take the best of what we have said and we will talk soon. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Bi islami wa imani ahda al-kawn wa zamanu bi islami wa imani أضاء الكون وزمنه